Cookie Sam woman here. And Jess, hi, hello. Ah, welcome to episode two of Seduce Me Two: The Demon War. First episode, uh, we were told about suicide warnings and um, wedding planning, the most fun activity I've ever had the displeasure of doing. You what? <gasps> but um. <laughs> Let's let's go. We we stop going into the dining room. We so stop because she said I stopped. And so also, stopped. it said it stopped. Um, I want to do it. Oh, oh. I mean, if you, if you, hey, we're starting off pretty strong here. If you want to do it, you just you don't even have to ask. I mean, you did just tell me, so I mean, hey, I'll just I'll just go in the kitchen with you. I mean, that's enough for me. Countertops fine. It, it's been clean. <laughs> You cannot be serious. God. Absolutely. I mean, are we in, in front of your brothers? I, I, I don't... Mm, uh, mm. I'm a little iffy with Eric being in the room. Yeah. Oh, they're all in there. I quickly hugged the wall and emptied my thoughts so Damien wouldn't You're hear them. You're up against the wall, just... That's like all that's playing in her head, and Damien's just like... What the fuck? Yeah, like, I don't know where Damien's just like... He's like trying to listen to his brothers, but he's like... What is going on? Is she playing music? No, it's what? just the it's just the video of <laughs> ah! Ah! <laughs> And he's just what? like What the fuck is that? Okay. She I listened to she likes K-pop guys. Um I bet like Sam like they'd be in the car together and she'd be playing it on the C D player and she'd be like singing and dancing along and he'd just be like driving and be like it's nice. <laughs> it's got me moving. It's got... I could see Matthew though. He's like, yes, in the back seat, jamming out. Yep. Aww. I love him. Oh God. Anywho, I listened intently, thinking about Naomi and Suzu as I let my ears capture what I wanted to discover. I had learned so many tricks on how to avoid Damien. It was now easy to fool him. Oh, poor Damien. A what demon marriage you... in the human world. How do you expect to pull this off? What's I'm sorry, the, what? what's the difference? What? I don't know. I just, I just want to marry her. Both like a human for her, and like a demon for me. How do you demon marry somebody? Like, does it involve a I ritual? Mean, it's a nice does idea, involve... but you need a lot, and I mean a lot, of things we can't get here in the human world. Yeah. Sam wants to visit the demon black market to find the things he needs. There's, There's a, a demon, demon black market? What the fuck? It's just is this like a Chicago thing? Fucking Chicago man. <laughs> Sam! Are you that idiotic? Hey, hey, be nice. Rude. Gee, thanks, Damien. Yeah. Oh, he's just trying to do his best. You you be nice to him. He's my sweet little cinnamon roll. Oh my god, look at Eric's face. He's so mad. So mild. And then there's Matthew who's like terrified. He's biting his lip. Hump. And James is pissed. Yep. The black market? Really? You'd go that far? Hey, I guess. you do anything it's for love. It's my goddamn choice. You do crazy things for love. A choice that will make would you an even bigger target for I would do anything for love. What the hell are you thinking? I would do that. Angels? What? What are angels? Um, I, I mean, like, in this game. I Is this the first time it's mentioning angels? I think so, because I don't remember anything other than demons and devils in the first game. Huh. Okay, this is gonna be a new thing. My mind continued to focus on my friends, but my heart became heavy and frightened. Sam wanted things he'd have to get at a black market? I didn't even realize there was a demon black market. Same, girl, same. I felt majorly confused, but I let the emotions simply rumble in my chest instead of my mind. Look, I know you want to do this with her, but can't you at least think about this? What if you can't find all of the materials needed for it? Then I guess we can't do it. Even more so, what if she doesn't want to do it? She is human after all. Did you even ask her? Why do you guys have these conversations without me in the room and expect me, the owner of the house, not to barge in or at least listen in when you knew from the first game for the past two years that I've been doing the exact same shit. Seriously. Because this is the exact same thing that happened when you confessed to the boys as you're listening to them talk to Diana and you're they're just like, no, because, you know, like, I, I like her. 
so, you know, whatever. And then you're just like, I love him! And then they're like, I love you too! And then he's like, uh, goodbye. And goes in her little vortex. Valet. <laughs> yes, that! That's the thing. She, uh, for some reason, the only thing my brain said was, was gonna say, Hasta la vista. That's not it. Then she pulls out a Tommy gun and blows it to shreds! <laughs> it's itchy. It's okay. It's because it's sweaty. Can I, can I also ask, what does a demon marriage entail? Like, what? Yeah! Because, uh, what's the difference? Because if you have to get a lot of things for this, it's probably it's a like ritual. a ritual. So, like a, like a, what's it called? Now I can't even remember what it's called. Doing like it's not like a it's not a satanic ritual. It's a summoning. It's not summoning. It's uh, it starts with an S. I'm pretty sure. Seance. Yeah, it's the word. It's like a seance type thing that you're gonna. I, well, right? No, I, was... I don't know. Oh, for the love of God, Sam, come on! I know you're a meathead, but meathead. you're not this dumb. Why haven't you asked her? I just want to bind my soul to her, all right? Oh, what? You know, like the fucking demon I actually am. All right, first of all. <laughs> I don't even know where to fucking start. First of all, bind soul. I'm assuming that's the demon thing. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're binding our souls together. Second of all, what the hell does that entail? Like, are, are we going to feel each other's souls? Or are they going like, to, like, combine? Are like, they, maybe like... it's, like, one of those things. Like, you know how they have those, like, newfangled, who's he wants it, like, rings that, like, you can feel your, like, partner's heartbeat, like, your pulse. Like, maybe it's something like that. Like, you can always feel them with you. It's, like... So is it is it kind of, like, twins' intuition where they can, like, kind of feel the same thing? Or, like, know something's going to happen or, like, whatnot? Maybe, because maybe Sam already feels something sort of like that, since he's already a demon. Like, he can... I don't know. And then second of all... Why you yell? I understand that you're mad. Yeah, if you yell, I will be able to hear you. That's what I mean. I mean, I can already hear you, but still. Yeah, right? My thoughts went blank. For a moment, I had forgotten that he was, in fact, a demon. But bind his soul to me. What did that mean? Yes, you are a demon, but you're in the human world now. Marriage doesn't work like that here. I mean, it could if you tried hard enough. Like, I mean, there's no rules that say in any guideline or laws or anything that say, oh, you can't bind if souls you're, together. If you get human married, you can't also get demon married. Yeah. I mean, there's nothing, there's nothing saying that you can't do bind both. your souls together, yeah. no matter what. Maybe there's something in the demon world, but we're not in the demon world, so they can go eat shit. <sighs> same. Okay, Dad. I just same. made that same noise. Why are you having doubts? Why you guys are soulmates. That's why he wants to bind your souls together. <sighs> Stop. My entire body froze. What? He was having doubts? Why? I suppressed the surprise in my mind, still remembering that I was eavesdropping, but I was starting to feel upset. I'm not having doubts. I want to do this. I just... Oh, look how sad they are, except for James. He, he's... He's the more understanding one. He doesn't... He's the level. He doesn't one. let his emotions... Yeah. Through. You just what? You want to return to the demon world? You want to marry her in the abyssal plains instead of here? And if I did, so what if I do? I can get us there, and we'd be able to do the ceremony, and then we'd come back! I don't think it's gonna be that easy. You guys are literally on the run. You may want to go back, but she'll become a target for demons to kill for sport! That She'd die before you even returned! Did you even think about that? Huh? That, and they're gonna be in a demon war, because, you know, Diana left. Could literally just be a hostage. A large silence followed. It became lost and nervous. Why was Sam so obsessed about this issue? James, calm down. Yelling at him solves nothing. Sam, we all know you really want to do this. We're just trying to show you the facts before you do something stupid. But that's what he's good for. Yeah. That's what we're good for. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're the comedy duo of stupid. Do it for the YouTube. Do it for the, the do it, laughs. Do it for the views. The content. Do it for the content. I couldn't stand it any longer. I had to sit down. 
I had to lay down straight on the on the linoleum floor. <laughs> the linoleum. The linoleum. Yep. It was not a good time to bring it up, so I needed to clear the air of the situation. Eventually, I could talk to Sam about it, but not now. Oh. I mentally signaled that I was ending the call and thinking about rejoining the room, knowing Damien would hear my thoughts. She's coming back. You've been duped, Damien. You've been duped. Uh, bamboozled. Smeckledorf. I turned the corner and looked at the five, seeing them obviously divided. Sam was on one side, both hands on the table as he stared down at it in defeat. They don't look divided. <laughs> the other four were on the opposite side, looking to me. Hey, what happened? Nothing. We just... We just had a bit of a... Fuck this, I'm done. Sam pushed away from the table and began to walk towards me. As I watched, I watched as he passed me, climbed the stairs, obviously beyond angry. Sam! Miss, wait. I turned back to see the four Incubus brothers with worried looks on their faces. I wanted to go to Sam, but I knew that he needed to calm down, so I stayed. What is it? If, well, this is very hard to ask. Um... If Sam wanted to do something very, very specific and hard to accomplish, and if he wanted to, uh, do that with you, would you? Anal. Ah. Uh, yes. Basically, would you allow Sam to do something that makes him happy but risks his oh, life? Oh, that's not anal. That's, that risks my life. <laughs> I couldn't help thinking about the conversation they had, which made Damien furrow his eyebrows. You heard everything. Uh, you had a little bit of an accent there, Sandra. Like, you heard everything. You're right. You're so cute. I love you. You did? Yeah. <laughs> I closed my eyes. There was no use in denying it, but it was something I needed to talk about with them. Wait, that was a question? There was no use in denying it, but was it something I needed to talk about with them? I knew I'd have to talk about it with Sam, but with his brothers? Oh no, here's the deciding factor on shit. Um, oh, God, what would be the better thing for Sam? I feel like he would get mad if, he, if you talked about it with them and not with him. Yeah, but you'll. You're gonna talk to him later about it, but like, he might. I don't know. This is why I hate these games, because you don't know how to. He might what? Act. Like, he, if you get something else? No, if you talk to them about it, you might seem like you're interested in it or something I guess so then he might be like oh like he might not feel bad mm -hmm. but he'll he'll like see like that you're either interested or concerned so that's why you were asking them about it rather than going to him and like he's, he, he'll feel bad and be like oh you don't have to do it and then you could be like oh no but I want to but I don't know Cause if, if you <sighs> I feel like if you talk about it with them Sam's gonna get mad because he's like you didn't talk to I me. wanted to be the one to talk to you about it. I didn't want you to hear it from them, even though you yeah. technically heard it from all of them. Shit. It's up to you. I know, but I'm gonna fuck it up. Do you wanna look up a walkthrough? I don't wanna, but I'm going to. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna just pause this video real quick, but thank you very much and kindly. Uh, I kinda wanna talk about it. Okay. Just cause I wanna find out about it. I needed to know more about what was going on. Why was Sam so keen on doing whatever he had planned? Also, we're back. I'm sorry, I forgot to say that. Hello! Oh! I... <laughs> I heard what you were all talking about, but I don't understand. A demon marriage? James let out a sigh before rubbing his temple with one hand, crossing his other arm over his chest. Matthew stepped forward, becoming the teacher of the moment. Well, you see, humans plan weddings and have licenses and stuff, and BAM! You're married. Demons, however, are a little more intimate. Uh-huh. We're we're intimate. Intimate? Yeah, I've seen his penis multiple times, Matthew. How many uh, times have you seen his penis? How much more intimate do we have to be? I mean it's been inside of me, but that's and Matthew's just like, Ugh <laughs> He makes that same face. <laughs> like <laughs> the, the face that SpongeBob makes. <laughs> 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 well, basically, when demons want to be together forever. They don't put rings on each other or anything like that. They bind each other's souls. 
So. Please excuse me, I have to put my leg on the on the chair. Oh. Oh. So. <laughs> so. What? What? This is making no sense, but then again, it was demon magic and they were talking about it. So it wasn't familiar to me at all. Eric stepped forward and continued. So glad that each of them has a specific part of the story they want When to two demons want to join together and build their legacy and family, they go through a ritual a that ritual. binds their souls together for all of eternity. No matter where they are, they will forever sense each other's presence and be able to feel them in their hearts. Oh, okay. Okay, that's cute, and I like I that. I like that. Yeah. You know what? Yeah. But so I don't know if I like the consequences of either us dying or Sam being hunted for the rest of his life. Well, if we get in and out really quick, it would be fine. Yeah. Pretty much. It's kind of romantic. It's also pretty complicated. Yes, yes indeed, Matthew. Pretty complicated? Well... When a demon binds their soul to another demon, they also swear to give their energy to their partner without question. Oh, oh so like, willpower can be used to fight back when someone takes our energy, but the binding spell will overrule your will. Ooh. Basically, it's constant consent. Even if you fight back, demons have accepted this way of life, but from what we've seen of the human world, humans wouldn't be so keen on this idea. Understandably. Well... If I'm making the choice to marry him and I would already like give him consent, I'd think that he would know not to take my energy mm -hmm. unless like he asked permission anyway. Like he wouldn't just do it. I'd hope, unless he really needed it, kind of thing. Yeah. I suddenly felt a little scared. If I bound my soul to Sam, he'd be able to take my energy whenever he wanted. I knew he wouldn't abuse that, but it was still scary, no longer having a say whether I wanted to or not. Did I want to bind my soul to him? Yes. I shook my head, putting the information in a mental folder before asking another question. It was not something I had to go through right now. I'd be able to think it over later. Nope, you have to figure it out right now. What's involved with this spell? Well, it requires a lot of power and a bunch of things to perform the ritual correctly. Our moms, well... Except for Damien's. Like, All Pokemon. had to gather everything and perform it with they their own energy. Me of a bastard there was son. no one to cast the spell. Oh, my boy. Boy. That's because our boy. father was a misogynistic tyrant who demanded Misogynistic? Than I'm sorry, James. James. You want to re say that a little, a little more properly, sir? Properly? Pro probably? A, anyway, a little more probably? You need to have someone to cast the spell. Then you'd need to properly set the magic circle and temper the space. There's the a space time continuum? <laughs> a demon ritual to bind souls. All of it was intriguing to me, yet at the same time, I was concerned over the implied difficulty. Was something like that truly complicated? Yes, they literally just explained it to you. <laughs> to bind two souls together, it was romantic in thought, but I guess difficult in process and execution. Sam seemed really passionate about the idea just from how frustrated he was in disagreeing with his brothers. I felt both flattered and worried. Damien walked over to me, obviously hearing my thoughts on the situation, and placed a hand on my shoulder. Don't let this worry you. He'll talk to you about it when he's ready. I don't believe he fully knows what to do yet. Mm. Okay. I nodded and closed my eyes. Now that I understood a bit more about the situation, talking to Sam about it would be easier. Here we go, we had a good choice. I sighed and looked Good job, up. Jess. Past Jess. And Jenna. Ah. <laughs> and Jenna, good job. Proud of you. She just like she just pops up and goes, Yeah. <laughs> the one time you see her like down in the corner, she just she's like Yeah, I'm like, where, where the she, fuck she's are we? like who, who, she's, wh which one is that? It's not B, it's JJ, right? Underneath the table or whatever. Yeah, JJ. That you just see his eyes. You just Hello. Hello? <laughs> Hello. I sighed and looked at the boys, seeing them starting to clean the table and clear the papers off. I had to assume that the planning was done for the night. Well yeah, because your husband or sorry, your Fiance. Fiance. Just went upstairs and probably is gonna take a nap. That's what I do. I guess we'll discuss more another time. It'll have to wait until the weekend. Much is happening this week, so I won't be available. Much is happening. Because you are a big CEO, CEO man. Yeah. Same here. I have to train a couple of interns so they know how to properly fit customers with a suit. Uh, question. Are you making me my wedding dress? Maybe. And Sam's tux? Because that would be a really This weekend cool... is perfectly fine, right? 
That'd be nice. Oh, that'd be cool. And I wish we could actually see it if he if he does kind of thing. Anywho. Yeah, that sounds good. Sorry. It's okay. I help pile the papers on a proper stack on the table, making them ready for the next time they were to be viewed before I escorted the boys out. Sam remained wherever he was and didn't see his brothers off. Oh, hello. Oh. Oh. Whoa. Hello there. And we're going to end this episode off here. Ha. Ah, the suspense is killing me. Dun, dun, dun. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed... If you enjoyed, go ahead and leave a like and subscribe. Share with your friends if you like binding your souls to your favorite loved one. I don't think anyone's... I'm sure. sure. I'm sure someone out there has at least tried. Maybe someone... Maybe there's someone out there who's an actual demon. It's like, hey, I did that once. Yay. Like <laughs> Thumbs up! Oh, I'll leave it a thumbs up for you. Smash! <laughs> I'm gonna smash that like button because I've done that too. Relatable. <laughs> <laughs>